Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Zechariah chapter 4. Then the angel who was speaking with me returned and roused me as a man who is awakened from his sleep. He said to me, What do you see? And I said, I see, and behold, a lampstand all of gold, with its bowl on the top of it, and its seven lamps on it, with seven spouts belonging to each of the lamps which are on the top of it, also two olive trees by it, one on the right side of the bowl and the other on its left side. Then I said to the angel who was speaking with me, saying, What are these, my lord? So the angel who was speaking with me answered and said to me, Do you not know what these are? And I said, No, my lord. Then he said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. What are you, O great mountain? Before Zerubbabel you will become a plain, and he will bring forth the top stone with shouts of grace, grace to it. In 538 B.C., the Israelites returned to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple. However, they encountered many adversaries who tried to prevent them from succeeding. Discouragement set in, and eventually they were forced to stop working. God told their leader, Serubabel, how to proceed. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. We would be wise to follow that counsel. Like the ancient Israelites, those of us who are believers may be under pressure and unsure how to keep going. When we encounter obstacles, our tendency is to figure out the solution for ourselves. But this attitude isn't right. Having an independent spirit may be prevalent and admired today, but it's not how the Bible tells us to live. Instead, we're to be characterized by dependence on the Holy Spirit. Giving up control and letting Him direct our actions will result in doing God's work His way. Our life won't be free of trouble, but will experience many victories through the Lord. When we're depending on the Holy Spirit, here's what becomes evident. Without God, we would fail, and our constant companions would be worry and distress. But with Him, we receive true wisdom and divine power. Then. Peace and joy accompany us, even amidst hardship. <laughs>